Hello YouTube land, my name is Kessel Caden, and today we're going to be showcasing one of my favorite builds this league, and probably among all of my leagues, is the Cosprey's Malice Cast on Crit Assassin. Uh, we are going very defensive with it, and still dishes out a decent amount of damage. We are full energy shield based, and we're tanky, we're tanky as heck, because we have two main sources, well three actually, um... First one, recover 4% energy shield when you block. Second one, recover 6% energy shield on kill. And we also have chance to shock for 4 seconds on block as well. And our Watcher's Eye is increased energy shield, like 20-something energy shield whenever we attack with Discipline. And with Cyclone, that works so well. It is great. So a couple of other things that we have on here is increased cooldown recovery speed. We are utilizing Awaken Cast on Crit. Once this is level 5, it'll actually increase your damage quite a bit. I can't wait for that. I'm working on it. I should probably just buy a new one and just sell this one, but whatever. Um, we are using Dash. For now, at least, we have Dash has two additional cooldowns. I prefer Dash over Flame Dash. I, I, I don't know what it is. I, I just don't like Flame Dash. Uh, Dash with two extra cooldowns is so nice. Although I know I should eventually switch over to Ice Nova Increased Damage Enchant, but those are also a little expensive, and I don't know how much more I want to spend on this build, because this build is probably like 40 exalts. Uh, mind you, this was self-crafted. Um, this was also self-crafted, but the base was, I think, two exalts. The base for this at the time was, like, I purchased one with the dash. Uh, that was probably one or two exalts. Um, this level 100 uh two three exalts these rings were expensive as heck uh both of them have you know your coal damage affected by herald as well as increased buff effect pandemonious also expensive plus tranquility is the uh, anoint on that as you can see it has two goldens so yeah no that was pretty expensive too and it makes sense for us to have this especially with our energy shield um, now we could probably squeeze out an extra 400 energy shield if we switch over to something like this or a better but i decided to keep this for the extra shock chance so uh this character is by the way level 97 it does series 8 just fine uh, my atlas is currently shaped so i can be running my uh Valdo's rest right now i'm farming more barrel chambers I also like to run Overgrown Shrine, as you guys have known from previous episodes or previous videos. It's actually quite nice. Anyway, so we'll just quickly go over this so you can kind of see what it's like and see how fast it is. Alright, so Baratania, perfect. Uh, this is also going to be another quick map, so don't expect me to go for a full clear. By any means, especially if I'm recording or trying to show. Oh, I can't jump over there. But yeah, while I'm recording, I tend to just kind of do fast clear so you can kind of see what to expect from like the boss, from the characters themselves. Uh, I generally pick up maps and anything that's worth over a chaos. Uh, secondary reward is currency, so I might try to go for 531 potentially before fast forwarding, but that'll lower my amount of simulacrum, depending on how slow I am to get that. So I'd at least want maybe like 20 simulacrum out of this, so I'm probably just gonna speed through. Anyway, this build does not have any issues with sustain. Unless I get unlucky one shot with no flasks up, um, this build does pretty well. It melts Kosis, it goes through uh, Cirrus 8 pretty easily without many issues whatsoever. And hey, speaking of my Overgrown Shrine, and um, can we reach it? Yes, we can. Alright, good enough. Bye. Hey, 19. I was hoping for at least 20, but I kind of figured that was going to happen. I was hoping to get some decent currency out of that, but oh well. Um, overall, this is a very fun build. Just gonna go pick all this stuff up. And it doesn't really suffer from any issues, realistically. I'll go over some of the links and some of the other stuff that we have. It's a nice Nova, I think. Nope, never mind. I thought it was. I thought, I swear, I thought I saw a nice Nova, but apparently not. Okay, good enough. As you guys know, I didn't even have to use my Vault Discipline, I just use it. I can also use this whenever I want. Uh, it, it usually comes back by the end of the boss fight, so if I run into a tankier boss, I could just use it again, and it's there. 
Uh, overall, we are using cluster nodes. Cluster nodes are really nice. I, I forget if I went over this. I don't think I did. If I did, I apologize. Uh, cluster jewels are amazing. So for this large one, we're using deep chill. We're using corrosive elements for cold exposure plus elemental increased damage. Area of effect elemental damage, those make sense. Uh, for the one side, we are focusing on things like Eye of the Storm for damage over time multiplier plus effect of chill uh, with critical strikes plus shock with critical strikes, which is kind of nice, plus increased uh, critical chance. Enemies you are chilled by your hits are also shocked, so again that's another form of our shock to make sure that we actually get it, plus enemies shocked by your hits or chilled, etc, etc. We're basically perma-shock perma and perma-chill at this point. Uh, for the energy of not ones, I tried to focus on attributes because we're very low on attributes, plus uh, just elemental resistances. Those are the two important ones. Like As you guys can see, I still have an alacr or alac alacrity here, and I basically just can't. I'm right on the rim of that. Similar to my Vortex build, I use Thread of Hope here uh, to pick up certain things. So Heart of Ice, which makes sense for the damage uh, penetration, the extra cold damage, plus the leech. This is a great node. This probably increases, again, my energy shield by like 500, which again, would mix with Tranquility. It's very important. Um, alternatively to Tranquility, I could go for the same node that I went for on the other build to make sure that I max out on my spell chance, or block chance, and that would be this one right here. But I figured I'd just stick with Tranquility. Um... Also Light Eater, again, spell damage leeched as energy shield, plus increased total recovery per leech, which is good, and just your standard ones. I didn't go for Wicked Ward just because we definitely don't need it on this build. Uh, we are using a Lethal Pride here. The reason for that is so that we can basically double our block for both attack and spell. Yes, we take 50% damage from blocked hits, but it doesn't matter. Uh, I has a message. But yeah, no, it, it definitely doesn't matter. Um, Frozen Trail, it's great. I don't know what else I could say about that. What I opted to do for uh, Cyclone is make sure that we had an Inspiration Charge there just so we can grab all these extra juicy benefits from that, which is amazing. Um, overall, it's a pretty fun build. I definitely recommend it. Uh, according to my or my Excellence Next tracker, we, I get at least 300 to about 600 Chaos per hour, not including Simulacrum Splinters, because I use those for myself. So overall, it's quite nice. Uh, this is a very fun build, and I would definitely recommend it if you have the currency and if you have a shadow lying around. <laughs> um, once again, this reaches level 5. This will be pretty beastly. I could purchase it, but again, I don't want to waste any more currency. This is already an expensive character. I might try to go for a boot that has Elusive on it as well, because I think I have enough. Well, actually, no, I don't even have enough for uh, resistances. I need to stick with this, and that's going to be very hard to find resistances for. So I think this is the character uh, for the League for me. It's a pretty fun character, pretty fast character. I basically just never die. So overall, it feels good. I know this is a little bit shorter of a video than I normally do. So with that said, if you guys have any comments, feel free to message me or put them in the comments down below. Uh, I will probably reply to all of you. So good or bad, have fun. Anyway, leave a like on the video, comment down below. Path the Building is down below. The original author's thread is also down below. This is Kami's uh, Cosprey's Malice Cast on Crit build. I've just kind of tweaked it with cluster nodes and kind of played around with it a little bit. Just to keep the defenses up as high as I could, plus increase the damage as high as I could. And yeah, it does Cirrus 8 really well. Uh, did Uber Elder this league already. Um, Wave Summer Arkham, I run through maybe about one or two of those a day. Uh, generally one now, just because I don't have a lot of time at the moment. But uh, generally one a day. And yeah, it's pretty damn good. So. Anyway, yeah, that's about it. Leave a comment down below, subscribe to my channel, leave a like on the video, don't forget the most important part. Have fun!